Jackson. About that, um, she kind of wanted me to stop by a lawyer's office and pick these up and give them to you. Oh, I didn't know you had a lawyer. It's our family book. Oh. <laughs> this is a prenup. Dion. Only rich people have prenups. Broke people don't gotta worry about this. Who said I was broke? This is how much you're worth? All from inheritance. Yeah, I mean, everything should be explained in there, but my family won't allow me to marry you unless you sign the documents. You know, I was wondering how you could afford this ring. Well, the ring was my mom's first ring, her first engagement, before they renewed their vows. It's saying that you've had access to all your money this whole time. Yeah. The whole time? Yes. This whole time? Baby, I just didn't want to touch it. Do you remember? Baby, I know this is a lot to digest. Just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You weren't the one working two jobs for the last three years while inspiration decides to hit my broke writer boyfriend. I mean, I didn't ask you to work so much. Yeah, but you didn't stop me from paying for everything, now did you? Right, I did. Because it's not like your unfinished poems or novels or books or whatever you're writing was paying for our apartment. I was, someone had to. And you know, this whole time, I thought I was actually just supporting my boyfriend and his craft. How silly. Look, my last girlfriend used me the entire time we was in a relationship and I didn't realize it until we broke up. Do you remember when our dog was sick? Do you remember what I had to do to pay for that bill? I had to sell my mother's engagement ring. The one that she gave me before she passed. You remember that, don't you? Yes. Why? Why'd you even let me do it? You knew how much that ring meant to me. Look, I didn't want to get the surgery for the dog. I personally thought it was too much. But you insisted that we get it, so we did. You know what? I don't even know how I even got myself in this situation. What you mean? I sacrificed so much for this relationship. And I sat here and I thought it's because your ex hurt you and all you needed was someone to love you. And so that's what I decided to do. But this whole time, you were using me. I have not been using you. So if you weren't using me, what was it? A test? For three years? I just wanted to make sure I didn't get used again. That's why I didn't tell you. You know, I could understand that for like the first couple months or maybe even within the first year. But for three years, Dion, for three years you decided to finally tell me the truth. One truth that I didn't tell you. For us, I wanted us to have a strong foundation. And who gave you the right to make that decision? So now I'm just supposed to sign this document and move past it? You know, this whole time, I have been nothing but honest to you. And I chose to care for you and to trust you. And what did you do? You chose to lie to me. Baby, look, we can build from this. We can move on. We can have a long lasting, secure relationship and live happily ever after. But you just got to sign the documents first. You kept this from me for the last three years. And you have the audacity to come home today and ask me to sign a prenup. Like I haven't done enough for you? 